Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. Over the course of the last week, and even today, what I've been noticing is uh, like the threads of the dark network, what we've discussed before, the dark ne network, which is turning into the grid of light of Earth as the ascension proceeds. And uh, this dark network, I think there's another name for it, it's called photonic entanglement. And uh, I have a, just a sense, like an intuition, that uh, the entanglement aspect, the, the, like, the striking together of, of electromagnetic lines of energy uh, so that they become short-circuited, is, is, is going to, that, that entanglement aspect is going to be decreasing as we rise in, in, um, in energy, in, to the higher dimensions. So what we call duality, the, um, the third dimension, which I th perhaps corresponds with the navel point energy in our chakric system, that and lower, <laughs> that, um, that crisscrossing, that photonic entanglement, uh, that crisscrossing of the electromagnetic lines might be what is causing like the the glomming that is going on in the clear uh, hearing plane, the clear audience plane. Uh, the glomming is like um, it's what it is for me is all I have to do is think one dissonant thought and that thought takes wings because of the clearing that's going on. That thought um, attracts the energy of, of a group of people, it might be from two, one maybe, or two, up to many, very many, maybe 20, maybe more. Uh, all of whom somehow are entangled in that dissonant, like, uh, sound or light frequency. And so what it takes to get out, and it gets more and more entangled and more and more dense as the, all the people kind of strum that, that one off-key string, they all start strumming and singing that song like with their souls unconsciously and uh, feeling trapped and unable to get out of it. And so what it takes is a thinking mind here. It takes a, really an, an analytical ability or the, the ability to, like in Zen to neutrally witness what is going on in the mind. And so, so the minute I notice this, I just, the thing to do is just sit back, feel feel actually the energy of the mid heart the the normal heart and and you will and what i've been noticing lately is that whenever this dissonance occurs there's a roughness in the spin of the heart chakra front and back so what it takes is long deep breathing you have to keep that up until the energy of the normal energy of the heart can reestablish itself. And then you're set to try again with the higher vibes. 5D, 6D, 7D, like that. 5D, 6D, 7D, 8D, and above the head, the ninth dimension. So then the unconscious thought cloud of the world, you'll be walking around doing your work and all of a sudden you'll think one dissonant thought again, right? And the unconscious thought cloud of the world will come into the lower three chakras, old system, the lower triangle in yoga, right? And it'll start unconsciously changing in, uh, the energy of your entire light body, you know, mixing around in it. And then you have to start again all over witnessing calming, renewing the spirit, renewing the resonance, and like that. So, photonic entanglement. 
You know, we can trace it down with our logical minds all day long, but it, it really won't result in much. What, what's really changing things is first, first stepping out of the situation so that the heart can heal and receiving the incoming light that's, that's so fast coming in as we approach um, the equinox, the March equinox. And um, just just being being grateful for for this clearing that's taking place, which can you know lead to upset. It can lead to physical pains, ascension symptoms, as they say. But one thing that people overlook is all of the wonderful things that are going to be happening to us uh, as we ascend. And and many of those things are so far beyond our ken. They are so. The thing is, our expectations here on Earth in the third dimension are very low, you know, very low. We think of life as a kind of prison. Um, we go to our job, we go to school, you know, we raise the children, we get old, we go to a retirement home, and, and like that, you know, prison, really. We don't know that we can heal our physical bodies. We don't know that we can travel through the dimensions. We don't. We don't believe that we can. We can surf the, the the timelines. We just don't believe we can change everything. We don't believe we can rewrite history. But I'm here to tell you that's what we can do. We can do that. We can travel all of the dimensions. We can move to the angelic realm. We can call the angelic realm into the physical reality. We don't have to hang around with other people's demons. You know? We can create what we really want for ourselves. And it doesn't take effort. It doesn't take uh, slow social change. All it takes is the vision and the knowledge that we have the power through our hearts, through our high hearts, and through all of our higher chakras, we can, we can envision and create that reality. Not after the light comes in, but right now. <laughs> so, photonic entanglement, you know, it's a mental puzzle. But the the majesty of our souls, that's, that's a reality right now. <laughs> well, I, I wish you all the very best and the highest vision of, 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 of your own power in the world today. The very highest vision. <sighs> and the least photonic entanglement. In fact, photonic disentanglement today. <laughs>